Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and the new DLC to be released, Sin and Sacrifice. Sin and Sacrifice is the next substantial expansion pack for Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and was announced earlier this month. The DLC will be an advanced storyline of the Deadlock story arc for Season 1 and give us another look at the crucial juncture of the first Cylon War. Old characters will return with the likes of Lucinda Kane and Helena Agathon and the old Battlestar Galactica makes an appearance as well. So Battlestar Galactica Sin and Sacrifice is going to be the follow-up to the previous major expansion pack which was Anabasis and it will introduce 11 new story missions to the mix thus expanding further on the legendary Battlestar Galactica lore as reimagined by um, Ron Moore. Aside from a substantial new set of story missions focusing on the awakening of the famous IL series commander Lachesis, Sin and Sacrifice will also include Colonial Fleet radio chatter and there's over 1,100 unique recordings of which they hope is going to breathe new life into the core gameplay experience. Also in addition to that you have a jukebox mode as well where you can select different Battlestar Galactica Deadlock theme tunes or in-game music to play whilst you're playing the game. You're not just going to be held to the music that the game wants you to have. In addition to that as well, players can also look forward to the inclusion of two new combat ships, one on the colonial side and one on the Cylon side. And that will be the Cylon Gorgon and the colonial Heralakes. Now, as well as these additions, there's going to be the all new crew veterancy system. Uh, there's a new in ship inspector tool as well, as well as the so-called jukebox mode as I've just mentioned, uh, with promises of lots more in tow. Slytherin Games have offered me a press release of Battlestar Galactica Sin and Sacrifice prior to the release, uh, which was looking to be on the 19th of March. I've got it now today and are able to release videos as of 10 o'clock GMT the 14th of March and I'll be doing a video series of this for the next couple of days and talking about how I think it fits in with Battlestar Galactica lore and also how I think um, it's going to add to the game. So if you're interested in looking at that game, Sin and Sacrifice, like I say, is going to be out for general release on the 19th of March. Uh, check out the official Slytherin website which will be in the comments section and if you're into getting your Battlestar Galactica rocks on, check it out this is a great strategy game what i'm going to do now is i'm going to play the introduction sequence uh, as we've seen it which will give you a little bit of a story and an idea of how the game is going to go and then we're going to break it down after that video so there's going to be no commentary for me for the first video and then commentary for me for the second before we do that let's take a look at these ships so taking a look at the colonial heralakis it's a new ship a heavy warship that emphasizes power over finesse it's going to be a beater and where there isn't covered in layers of armored plating they've got guns everywhere right defensive current uh, turrets that will be capable of sustaining high volume of flak fields excellent stuff the cylon gorgon again is going to be a new ship a mobile support carrier for the cylons Advanced squadron repair and support functions are meant to be a sophisticated ship and perfect for Cylon squadron tactics. So with that now, what we're going to do, we're going to go and we're going to play the videos. Um, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor though, hit that like and subscribe and that notification icon. That'll let you know when I'm putting more videos of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Sin and Sacrifice on YouTube. Previously on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Sir. PyCon Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. And Admiral Sarkis? Alive. Barely. Colonial Fleet is still yours, Kane. For now. I am the first of three IL models. We are the Generals. The Logic. The Trinity of the Cylon. Humanity is most prolific in conflict, new technologies every day, domestic, military, what you invent, we integrate, each iteration an evolutionary leap for my people. This is clearly a wartime engagement with hostile forces. We will not turn around and leave colonial citizens to be killed. I expect you to act in accordance with your articles, and as yet. No branch of Canceran government has formally asked for your help. The victory you seek here will be fleeting. The war ends today, Cylon. No, Admiral. 
We are too late. Latches is weeks. Okay, so I'm back. Exciting, hey? Cylons and admirals being injured and the Battlestar Galactica turning up. All good stuff. It's called Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, what we were expecting. So let's take a look at this intro sequence to see what we can glean from this. So it starts off, as we know, previously on Battlestar Galactica, that episodic sort of version. We've got a Jupiter-class Battlestar. We've got a Corvette engaged with the Cylons. Alive. All good stuff. They're laying down the fire. You know it's going to be a fleet combat game. It's always a fleet combat game. This is what we signed up for. We've got some nice base stars and other Cylon ships jumping in. You know, I think the battles on this, I think, are a bit more ferocious. And I've played the game over the past couple of days, I have to admit, uh, prior to the release. And again, once again, thank you to Slytherin for providing me this, these press codes. Um, I'm, I'm finding it's flowing smoother. Um, there's lots more... The game has evolved a hell of a lot since we originally saw it. But I think the, the replay sequences of the battles make it all worthwhile. I have this format of showing the battles first and then showing the strategy and how I got to the battles. I mean, as the story is unfolding, um, you know, we're finding out that the Cylons are quite complex. It's going to be a complex story arc here, I think. Um, as well as having Cylon defectors and you know, we had, you know, the whole Sinon Quaid during the first series as well of um, Battlestar Galactica Deadwalk. Uh, he was being, you know, the, the traitor. He wanted peace with the Cylons. There's no peace with the Cylons. Now we're seeing a reverse of this sort of thing as well. But, you know, there's going to be some great battles and a great storyline as well to talk about. So I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to be posting videos uh, not only of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, Sin and Sacrifice, this new DLC, um, but also of Anabasis, uh, which is the survival system built in for the last release as well, and also some of the other issues. And I might even start replaying the game right away from the beginning as well in, in an episodic series. So thanks for watching. Get excited. It is really good from what I've seen and what I've played of it. Catch you in the next video.